Hey everyone, today we are going to review Thomas and Friends Train. Uh, it is an RC kind of type train. You can add engines, coaches, trucks, cargo, add a destination, start with any set. These had pieces that you could buy in 2006 to 2008 in Walmart, Kohl's, Kmart, uh, big brand retailers like that. And you can customize it. Um, this is the starter set. So as the central, the train um, tracks, and also the knob, and this cool controller. The controller takes three AAA batteries. The train with Thomas takes three AAA batteries as well. And the pieces are just snap-on. They also have trees, mountains, a three-way tunnel, um, a high bridge, five engine sheds, so you can have five different uh, Thomas and his friends. It has a stop and reverse function as well. It is wireless, and you can guide him through the tunnel and over bridges and things like that, and they have signs. This came with a lot of stuff, and I believe it was $60 when it first came out. Um, and now they go used for $60 and brand new for upwards of $100 to $400. So there's a switch on old Thomas. Flip it on. And there's a switch on the bottom of the controller. Flip it on. And then it also has this cool little knob where you twist it and you can set them up to the tracks. And it just snaps right into place. And let's go. And then when you get back to the station, twist the knobs. So this actually requires two or more people, one to man the little twisty thingy, and one to man the remote control. The only thing that people and kids care about. Look how fast he goes. Uh-oh, there's a cat in the railroad, and a person that has their shoestring caught. We either have the choice to run them over, or be polite in reverse. So we're gonna choose to run them over. Uh-oh, we don't have someone to make the railway safe for us. We're gonna flip off. So we're gonna have to do the right thing in reverse. All the oh, we ran over the cat and the human that were caught on the railroad tracks. Let's move forward, make sure they're all right. Oh no, they're begging in agony and pain to have mercy. Let's give them mercy. Oh no, they're dead. So that's Thomas the Train and the engine tracks. They have these customizable pieces. This thingy has a brake. The um, railroad track has a brake. You can add a brake to uh, certain parts too so that other trains can come through. Bam, it, it makes the brake move up. And you flip it down. And the brakes you can pass through again. Can't pass, can't pass. Can't pass, can't pass. Turns, um, tight turns, level turns so that it matches up with the railroad station right here. You got straight pieces. You've got short straight pieces. And you've got um, part of the uh, railway right here where they can enter through it. We got the bridges, but we didn't have enough space, and then our floor looks dirty, so we're not going to put it up. That's why. The star set also came with a helicopter. Oh, hang on. Gave me an idea. Make sure he Bob, it did. Here we go. We have a scenario that your kids may run into um, when they play with Thomas the Train. So you're going around. Oh, no, there's a helicopter rescue up ahead trying to save the cat and the kid. Boom! You just run right on over, just like Fear Factor, Joe Rogan, and anyone else who's ever gotten in a car wreck. Uh-oh, the helicopter's okay. They got the bird back in the air. He's back on the track trying to save that kid and cat. Uh-oh. Boom! Oh! God, that's terrible, isn't it? No, it's the best thing that ever happened. I would give this toy probably an 8 out of 10. I've tried two different brands of AAA batteries. One of the brands worked in the controller of AAA batteries and not in the train. And the other brand didn't work in the controller but worked in the train. I'm President Ross, and this is the review of Thomas and Train Friends in the Backyard. And I'm signing out.